Hi and welcome from Trinidad. Several months ago I met Dominic Hadid in Monaco at the World Entrepreneur of the Year uh, Awards Academy. And Dominic is the um, Entrepreneur of the Year in the Caribbean region. The best entrepreneur in the Caribbean right now. And we were talking about, uh, I, tell, I told him about my uh, project and uh, about me being an entrepreneur and uh, told him of course I'm not as successful uh, entrepreneur as you are. And he asked me a simple question, how good were you at school? And I uh, told him, well I was one of the best. And he said, see, that's the problem. Uh, I said, why, how, how come? And he says, you know, the best people in, in school they become professionals, they become architects, doctors, lawyers. So these are uh, the people who work on their own later. Then the middle, the, let's say, the middle level of, uh, uh, of students, they become your managers. And the worst people in, at school, half of where you, you thought nothing well they will become nothing half of them they really become nothing nobody but the other half uh, they just don't get any job after the school but they are ambitious and if they want uh, to do something all their life they just do they have to do it on their own and they become some of them become really successful entrepreneurs and Dominic was one of these guys he was one of these guys uh, you you know, you had always trouble at school and uh, you said this guy will end up, I don't know, in prison or he will be uh, homeless or whatever. You know, now I'm in uh, Trinidad, uh, in Trinidad, came to, to see him, uh, he invited me to talk about the topic of my, uh, of my book and he told me at the time he was at school there was a corporal punishment and there was no semester not a single semester where he wasn't puni punished at least once or, or twice um, and he was so unpopular among the students and the teachers at the school that even at the graduation at school I mean in the elementary, elementary school and later in high school that, among, uh, that even at the graduation, uh, graduation ceremony he got uh, his diploma without uh, his name on it and guess what, uh, more or less 20 years later he uh, became the best, he was chosen the best entrepreneur in the Caribbean region uh, he founded Blue Waters here, this is the like, dom uh, dominating uh, bottling company in the Caribbean, they uh, offer, they manufacture drinks, water, mainly water, but also uh, sodas and, uh, and juices. 20 years after he got his high, his high school diploma with no name on, uh, on it, uh, guess what? His school was nominating the Hall of Fame of the most successful former students. And they had the courage to call him. He was practically dispelled from, from school. But they had the courage to call him and ask him if he will accept uh, to be nominated uh, to this Hall of Fame as the best student, or to say, the most successful student of his year. And he said, uh, since it was more difficult to them to call me than uh, to me to accept, uh, he accepted. But guess, but imagine uh, the faces of uh, his former teachers and also of his fellow students when he arrived, it was like 20 ceremony or something, um, 20 graduation ceremony, and he, he was awarded this um, uh, this award, and the people were like looking at each other and, uh, and saying, it's not possible, this guy was uh, just a moron at school, he was a troublemaker, he was uh, in, impossible to deal with, and um, and he was, he was really extremely unpopular. Why was he so unpopular? Because he was, as he describes himself, an AD, ADD child. Actually, he, he's, he's still, let's say, suffering under uh, ADD. Uh, and as an uh, effect of that, 
he always had to uh, to tell uh, to the students and uh, to the teachers his opinions, what what he really thinks about about things, and he didn't accept uh, to do any homework, um, demanding uh, from his teachers to tell him exactly the reason why he should do it and why is it useful uh, for him, and uh, so he was really a very inconvenient guy to deal with in uh, high school already. He just didn't accept any uh, obligations, any authorities, and uh, he was thinking for himself, and he sometimes he, uh, he said things which were right, but either they weren't apparent to everybody, or they were things nobody dared to say, or it, it would be rude to, uh, to say them. I needed to change the venue, or it became too hot over there. So yesterday we spent the day together with Dominic and uh, we were talking about the topic of my book, of course. He told me about his business career, about the obstacles of the way, about how he managed to get where he is, and uh, about all his um, principles he was uh, following, or which he also has developed or discovered. I want to challenge you to think of that. Are you somebody who follows the crowd, who is afraid to say something inconvenient, uh, who accepts the rules and authorities and uh, tries to oblige and to conform with uh, the rules? Or are you somebody who asks why and uh, has his own opinions and refuses to uh, to do anything uh, he doesn't want or doesn't like or doesn't find right. This attitude alone is one of the uh, one of the attitudes of uh, billionaire success. And together with all the other attitudes Dominic uh, possesses. I am sure he will become a billionaire sooner or later. He is really on the best way to do that. So if you think um, of becoming really successful in business, you should challenge the authority. Do the thinking yourself. Challenge the, the truth. Challenge the things everybody accepts. Beliefs unavoidable or maybe self-evident. Ask yourself, is it really like that? And then you, will, you may find ways to solve these issues or to approach these issues differently, which may bring you a fortune. And this is what actually Dominic did in his industry here. It's unbelievable what he managed to do in that little, starting with that little country. He is now active in um, over 15 Caribbean countries. He is the largest water bottling uh, company in the Caribbean. I didn't think any innovation would be possible in bottling, I mean in, uh, you know, filling in drinks into bottles and distributing them. But Dominic, with his six sizes of uh, containers for water, he managed to get a competitive advantage in every single size uh, of water. It's, uh, it's unbelievable how, I mean, how many things can you do with water, with uh, bottled water. But he did and he got an edge on every product he has, either it is in uh, service or uh, features or maybe on the cost saving side, uh, in, every, in every aspect of that, in every uh, area, in every single size uh, of this uh, the bottle, he, um, he innovated or he found something, he challenged the way it, it, it has been done in the industry until then and uh, found a way to do it better, sometimes cheaper, sometimes uh, better for the customer, sometimes uh, better for, um, for the vendor, uh, more useful, 
with more features or with more uh, benefits. So, this is how video nerds think, and, uh, and uh, Dominique definitely uh, has this kind of, th of thinking. So, I want you to think also along those, uh, those lines, and you will be surprised how far you can get with that type of thinking. Thank you and see you from Trinidad.